Good morning, Knights. Today is Friday, November 16th, 2018. I'm Sasha Small, here with Mason Atarian. Mason, what do we have for today's show? Thanks, Sasha. Today, we will take a look at the music video festival that took place last Saturday, the boys' varsity basketball team, and the learning differences from either a textbook or a tablet. Stay tuned, Knights. We are just getting started. Students from TV Production hosted the 7th Annual Music Video Festival, where they sat down with professional music video directors and screened their very own music video projects. This past Saturday, NDTV students attended the 7th Annual Music Video Festival. Before the festival, the students sat down to a delicious lunch and talked with five music video directors, including Fredo Tovar. I always find out that like, some of the artists that you might think have it all together, they don't need help, they might be the ones that need help. And if you can provide something for them and the skill to at least get you in the door, and after that you gotta figure it out for yourself. Afterwards, NDTV students watched TV One's music videos from last year. We interviewed winners Asante and Francis about what it was like making their video. The challenge was having the same mindset with the other group, like coming up with the video and the idea and finding a place to shoot. The project taught me um, that you can do stuff by yourself. Um, if you really want to try to do it, you can do it. And that if you put your mind to it, you can do a really good job. Congratulations to all the winners and a special thanks to TV Production for hosting this wonderful festival. This is Sean Corey signing out for NDTV. Congratulations, Allie Wilson, on your win in the contest. Clearly, the audience loved it. Sad that the football season is coming to a close? Well, don't freak out because here comes the basketball season. Varsity Boys Basketball is one of the hardest working teams at Notre Dame, putting in hours during the summer and fall. We interviewed their head coach, Matt Sargent, Jack Abunasar, and their two new freshman players about the upcoming season. Hi, I'm Matt Sargent, Varsity Boys Basketball coach. The goal for the team this season uh, is probably to make the open division. Uh, we want to play against the best teams and the best teams in Southern California get put in that open division at the end of the year. Another goal is to maintain unselfishness throughout the whole year. I think if we're unselfish throughout the whole year, we'll be successful. My goals as a coach is just to stay patient. That's pretty much all I can ask of myself as you go through the year, because there's going to be a lot of ups and downs. So if I can stay patient, stay calm, we'll be good. We had a really good summer. We also had a really good fall. Played a lot of good teams. Uh, started to come together as a team. So I, I expect all the things that we did well in the summer and the fall to transfer into the winter. And I expect us to get better at the things that we struggled with in the summer and the fall. It's going to be fun. We also interviewed this year's captain, senior Jack Abunasar. The team's chemistry with the freshmen this year are really great. Uh, both of our freshmen are very talented. They're meshing well with the team, and they're really going to be able to help us this year. I think we'll have a great season this year. Um, if we continue to stay healthy, play together, uh, listen to our coaches, trust our coaches, trust each other, uh, we should be able to beat anyone we play. It should be a great year. The team's goals this year are to win championships. So we want to win CIF, we want to win state. Uh, my goals are to do whatever I can do to help our team achieve those goals. So if that's you know being a leader, whatever I can on offense and defense, just being solid. Anything I can do to contribute to winning championships. The newest addition to this year's team are two freshmen. Uh, my name is Brandon Perez. And uh, my name is Ben Schultzberg. Being a freshman on varsity is pretty cool. You know, I can't wait for the season and uh, I'm really excited. Being a freshman on varsity is going to be a great experience. I'm very excited for the season and I hope we can win games this year. I'm really excited to be able to play in the Mission League and be able to play some high level competition. Um, I can't wait to be able to play against some great players and be able to be pushed to my limits. I'm very excited for the home games, the big crowds, uh, just getting closer with great teammates and just becoming better as a team. Make sure to come out and support the team. Their first home game is on December 14th. This has been Lori Razan and Sasha Small signing out for NDTV. Good luck on the upcoming season, boys, and good luck on your game today and tomorrow. iPads have quickly taken over textbooks at ND, so we're investigating which is more efficient, tablets or textbooks. In today's world, there's a new technology happening. Gone are traditional ink and paper textbooks, and incoming are iPads, and book bags are getting lighter iPads are becoming the new digital bookcase for most students. Schools are increasingly looking to the best tablet out there to help students with everything from reading to taking quizzes. 
iPads are everywhere. Even the cost of purchasing an iPad is a lot cheaper than buying a textbook, which leads us to the new and somewhat old question of which is better, iPads or books? With technology changing so fast and textbook materials failing to keep up, we decided to take our questions to the students by polling ND seniors about their views on textbooks versus tablets. 60% of students said that using digital textbooks in class helps them to learn the material faster. However, 48% of senior students said that they had their iPad die in class. So what I like about using the iPads in the classroom is it um, helps you be really productive, you can work really seamlessly with other people. I do agree that while iPad use can occasionally be a distraction for students, I feel very strongly that digital textbooks are a big bonus. Um, my students can take notes in their textbook, annotate their textbooks, they can see precisely what I'm projecting on the screen from their textbooks and copy my notes. Um, I, it's always with them, they can't leave their book at home and it's easy when they're studying in multiple subjects and saves them a lot of money. Um, so personally, I'm all for digital textbooks, and I think in terms of the iPad distraction issue, we can deal with that in different ways in terms of how they work on their assignments or... I prefer textbooks over iPads because you can't really shut off an i You can shut off an iPad, and, but you can't shut off a textbook. And like textbooks are kind of easier to use, and like you can use them late at night. Another issue that students had when using the iPad is that they can easily get off tasks sometimes with it. 75% of students said that they are more easily distracted when using technology in the classroom. But with the advent of new applications like Apple Classroom, teachers can monitor their students' iPads. I used Apple Classroom in a variety of ways. I can click on Apple Classroom, I can bring up such, such as a period four, and I can tell this person right here is using a Quizlet. And that's our next, that's the next quiz that we're going to have, and so she's studying today on for Quizlet. Um, if I have to get the student's attention, I will just simply hit lock and unlock all the iPads. And I can unlock the iPads just like that. Um, but the best part of Apple Classroom is using it interactively with the board and with the students. It's really a learning tool as well. As we wrap up our report, we can conclude that the majority of students do prefer the use of a tablet over a textbook for lots of reasons, such as the information detailed in our poll. We also found out that students prefer tablets due to the issue of carrying heavy books in their backpacks and because they feel that tablets better prepare them for a world more immersed in technology. So yes, we can say that tablets do still rule. I'm Andrew Midas signing out for NDTV. Teachers agree tablets are better than textbooks. Just don't get distracted, Knights. Remember to go to support our Varsity Boys football team as they compete in the CIF semifinals. Tickets are free for the first 200 students who get there. That's it for today. We hope that you enjoyed our show. I'm Mason Atarian. And I'm Sasha Small. Have a wonderful weekend, Knights. So you find your way back home.